Today, Apple promised a week of Mac announcements, and today was the first day. On the first day, Apple unveiled the all-new iMac with the M4 chip and some exciting new colors. The update to the iMac is the first in a few years, so here are some of the hardware and software upgrades you should know if you've been waiting for the new Macs. So, let's dive into the video. First and foremost, Apple hasn't increased the price of the new iMac, and it starts at the same price as the outgoing model, which is a very good decision. The first upgrade on our list is, of course, the new M4 chipset, which now offers a super-fast CPU with 10 cores in which there are 4 performance cores and 6 efficiency cores, which makes the new iMac about 1.7 times faster than its predecessors. It also has a 10-core GPU with up to 2 times faster ray tracing, meaning you can play games on your Mac much more smoothly. Lastly, Apple announced that the M4 has a neural engine that's three times faster than the outgoing M1 model. Let's talk about the new display in the iMac. Well, the new display of the iMac now supports 8K at 120 FIPS, which Apple didn't mention in their keynote, but yeah, they silently updated it on their website. The new iMac also has a 12MP ultra-wide camera with center stage support. So, if you're on FaceTime with a friend, it will automatically adjust to your current position if you move around a bit. Additionally, Apple is giving you the option of nano texture glass, which minimizes unnecessary reflections and glare in the room. However, it's worth noting that this is a $200 extra option. Earlier, these Macs were available with 8GB of base RAM, but now they start with 16GB of RAM as standard, expandable up to 32GB on the Apple website. I don't know why it took Apple so long to do that, but they have finally done it. Another update we have is that Apple Intelligence is now three times faster. With this, you can perform ad tasks much faster and more efficiently on your iMac. Now let's cover some minor upgrades. Apple now gives you four Thunderbolt ports on the back instead of the two we used to get earlier. However, it's important to note that the four Thunderbolt ports are only available in the higher-end model, while the base model still gets only two Thunderbolt ports. Lastly, Apple quietly updated the Magic Mouse and keyboard with a USB-C port, so yes, the Lightning era is finally fading away. These are some of the changes Apple made to the new iMacs. The last question is, should you upgrade? I think if you're coming from an older version, these Macs will be worth checking out, and this was only the first day of Mac releases, with more on the way, so you can wait for those as well. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates and leaks in the